Everybody who's tuning in for the first time, just a quick uh, update. You need to send us your message on any one of our social media platforms or indeed on the WhatsApp number that's flashing on your screen. If you've got a stock that you've already bought, tell us what level you bought at and how long you'd like to hold it for. The first one's for you, Shahina. And this one's coming in from Mr. P. Subramaniam. He's writing in from Chennai. And he's holding 250 shares of Larsen and Tubro, which he bought two months ago, on the hope that it will benefit from hydrogen cell technology or electrolysis technology that is getting seemingly a push from the government. Is that a good strategy? Should he hold on? Yes, I believe he should. He can hold on and in fact buy at current levels, given the fact that there is an open up trade that is happening, and LNT is, uh, you know, just got a uh, the order book position is uh, very healthy and likely to benefit not only from the new technology but also from uh, execution of existing pro uh, the projects that are there. So one can uh, actually add on at current levels and of course hold on if you're uh, already in the stock. This one is from uh, Kamalaja and this one is on Vedanta and it's for you Kunal. He wants to know whether it's a good time to buy Vedanta at current uh, levels. Well, I would suggest an avoid, uh, you know, on many of these metal names, they've still not found, uh, you know, any major recovery or, uh, you know, uh, the, the correction which has happened to these stocks almost a month back. They've not gone through a major retracement or a rally mode f from those corrections. At best, even stocks like Vedanta, for example, from a base of 280 285 the stock has just meagerly bounced towards 315 odd levels but after that uh, you know sharp correction where the stock had corrected from 440 it's a very minor kind of retracement uh, my sense is that these stocks may get into maybe a one more round of correction on the downside uh, which is why i would suggest an avoid okay alkyl mines is the name of the uh, next stock that we're talking about and shaina we've got a viewer raj who's asking uh, for a fundamental view on the stock and whether this is a good time to add or to buy the stock? What's the view? I think chemical stocks have done well in the last two years and likely to continue to do so uh, even now going forward given the problems that China has and India is taking over from China in terms of uh, supplying raw materials uh, in uh, the space, chemical space, alkali mines is decently valued and one can be holding at current levels. All right, the next one that I have is coming in uh, from Samarveer Chawla and he wants a technical analysis of ThyroCare. Uh, what's your take on this one, uh, uh, Kunar? Yes, we know that uh, we had the big deal that happened in ThyroCare. Uh, post that, how does it change the dynamic? Sorry, uh, but uh, not talking on the fundamentals, but on the technical side, how does ThyroCare look to you? I think, uh, you know, the stock has been beaten down significantly from 1400 levels uh, mid of 2021. The stock has gone through a very sharp correction and the recent low the stock had made uh, this month itself was around 600, 620 odd marks. So when you try and look at the correction, so typically we say that, that a large cap or a you know, stock corrects by 20-25%, mid cap stocks they correct uh, you know, closer to 40%, but this mid cap name has actually corrected more than 50% from its uh, you know, previous major high. So that's a sign of weakness into the stock price. Uh, typically, when you're trying to buy these stocks, wait out for one confirmation point where these stocks break out of their resistance. That could be a time where you can look to try and chip into the stock. Maybe that could be happening if the stock crosses that 700, 720 mark. So I would suggest a wait as of now. Okay. Uh, Shahina, you've already commented on one chemical counter, but uh, asking about GNFC now is Shantilal Ch Changde uh, from Ahmed uh, Ahmednagar. And he's wondering whether it can be bought at the current price uh, based on the fundamentals. What's the view? Yes, one can buy NFC even at current levels. This has, of course, had a very good rally in the last one year. But uh, given the fact that the financials are on strength, I think even now at any dips, one can look at entering the stock for the medium to longer term. Okay, this one is coming in from uh, Vivek. And uh, Vivek uh, wants to know whether he can buy Apollo tires right now for the short term. Kunal, what's your take on Apollo tires? Do you think it makes sense? Well, I think a better bet could be actually Balkrist Industries because that's more uh, a more stable chart. The stock has recently given a breakout and post a breakout as well, Balkrist Industries seems to have done reasonably well for itself. So the stability of the chart pattern is where I would probably distinguish between this stock as well as Apollo Tire. So I would suggest that if we can go for an alternative, Balkrist Industries could be a much better bet. And if you're interested in looking at the fundamentals, of course, the uh, company is more into the off-road tires, which is an interesting market. Has a large export uh, um, portion of its uh, volumes as well. Uh, we've got a question coming from Chandan Jain. He's writing uh, from Hubli, Karnataka. And this one's for you, uh, Kunal. And he's asking about Raymond, which he's bought at, uh, if I'm not mistaken. He's saying that he's uh, got profits of 100 rupees. Now, I do not know 
because it's a little confusing. Should he hold on at this juncture? Well, I would suggest to book out profits over here. Now, I understand that the stock has done exceptionally well in the last one month. From 725, 730, the stock had jumped up to almost 1250 levels a few days back. But then these kind of uh, exaggerated price up moves, they are generally met with a, a reversal or a correction which could be sharp in nature. So if you're sitting on profits, I would suggest to book out uh, you know, profits over here and then let the stock get into a, a, a decent correction mode. So assuming if it corrects, say, another 20% from current levels, that could be a point where you can look to re-enter. Okay, this one is from Nino and uh, this one is for you, Shahina. She say, uh, he's asking whether you can suggest him uh, SIP of 5000, which consists of large and mid-cap stocks. Well, uh, if you're looking to uh, do an SIP over a period of time, I'm looking to do uh, both a combination of large cap as well as mid cap stocks to give you the kicker going forward. In the large cap, of course, I would go with some of the banking stocks as of now, which include ICICI Bank. Uh, you can also look at some of the mid cap stocks, like for example, uh, if you're looking at the EV space, uh, some uh, exposure there, you can look at Greaves Cotton. You can look at some of the open up trades that are happening. Uh, you can look at some of the agri trades, like for example, ITC is at a, uh, at a level where you you can look to invest for the long term. It bo it has good high dividend levels also, as well as the potential to give you a good return in terms of stock price. So you can look at a combination of these stocks. It seems like a lot of our viewers have uh, interest today in fertilizer and chemical stocks because we've got uh, numerous stocks that are being asked about. Uh, Bharatwaj from Madurai is asking about buying Rallis at the current level for the long term, which he's defining as five to ten years. Uh, Shaina, what's the view on this particular stock? Well, uh, Rallies has uh, really not been an uh, outperformer uh, given, uh, you know, the performance of most of the stocks in this space. Uh, I would prefer UPL over Rallies for the medium to longer term. Uh, so that would be my preferred bet in this space. All right. This one is uh, from Somitra Joshi and Somitra has written to us like over the last couple of weeks and I have not been able to take this query. So I'll take this one. He wants a view on HDFC AMC, uh, Shahina, and he wants a fundamental view. He's saying that it's been a wealth destroyer, and but he wants to know if there are any positives going forward. And also he's making it a very tricky uh, one for you to answer because he's saying that uh, if possible, uh, 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 can you not highlight about the MF growth story going ahead and the industry growth story? What else can he look forward to in HDFC AMC and should he stay put with this holding? Uh, I would say that in the shorter term, it is looking a bit, the charts are looking a bit bearish. So if he's already in the stock, I would continue holding. I don't see if you're holding it for the long term. Uh, of course, the story of the overall AMC space is there, but I think the promoter group is something that I'm very positive on. In the long term, they have been well generators. Uh, if you're looking at the shorter term, uh, I and if you're looking to enter the stock, I would look at uh, entering at dips. I would look at entering at at least uh, another 10% lower levels, closer to about 1,600, 1,650 type of levels for the longer term. We've got a, a question coming in for you, Kunal, and this is from Vijay. He's looking for a view on the Nifty 50. Um, and he's looking um, at whether it is going to test levels of 17,400 or 350 again. Um, and he has a position, he says, at 16,450. What should he do? What should his strategy be? So my sense is that we uh, should be looking out for a breakout at least at 16,800 16, to 17,000 mark. But I'll go back, uh, you know, maybe a couple of uh, you know, months. There have been two rallies in this last six months of downtrend. The first rally which actually started off was from 15,600 mark uh, and we rallied up uh, almost 2,200 points over there. The second rally was where the Jan started or uh, the month of Jan started and the rally was almost 1400 points on the uh, nifty so now if you go by a very similar extent we can expect that from the 15 750 lows which we, which we hit uh, in a few weeks back from there we can expect the uh, nifty to rally at least 1000 1500 points so possibly 17000 17200 could be a a moderate target which you can be looking to aim for on the nifty so interesting because uh, he has replied saying that he meant 16400 and not 17400 uh -huh. but i guess your view still holds yes all right, but on that note, we'll slip into a break on this edition of Buy Now, Sell Now. But when we come back, we will be back with your queries. So viewers, don't go anywhere. Stay put. Uh, we'll be back with our experts after this break.
From the perfect home to early retirement and everything in between. Real estate, everyone knows, is an asset that Indians absolutely love. Maybe even more than gold. Join us every weekday at 5 p.m. on the ET Money Show. Investment made easy. Only on ET Now. With each passing day, this market is becoming better. And with each passing day, this market is only telling you that if you've participated on every decline, you've actually made money. ITC's credo is nation first, sub saath bade. I would like to live this philosophy in whatever business we do. We continue to be very well diversified across product lines. The general health of the company continues to be very strong. We are a publicly listed company. We have access to capital. We have great brands. You know, beautiful question. Yeah, I can tell you, we believe that we'll be able to reduce costs. It, ET is one of my favorites in the world. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. This is a very insightful question that you're asking, Nikunj, and almost seems like you were listening in on the deliberation the committee was doing. Uh, and you're absolutely right. And if this cup of coffee is costing you 25 rupees right now, after five years, it may cost you 100 rupees. Predicting the market or predicting the short-term move in the market, well, that's always very easy. Predicting it right and making money, it's not impossible. It could be a challenge. Nikunj, you are a very seasoned uh, uh, market observer and therefore you may hit the nail on the head. I think you have always uh, kept the focus on the retail investor and I think it's again a very apt, very good question. Nikunj, first of all, thank you so much. You are one person I've always enjoyed interacting uh, throughout the last 15-20 years. You know, the problem on coming on your channel is that you already know everything. I just heard your introduction. Now, what can anybody add to that? Stock markets is a numbers game, and it sometimes does come across as one dimensional. But what people don't see is that these numbers, when strung together, tell a story. There's no really black or white. It very much seems to be a work in progress of triumphs and mistakes, greed and fear. And I bring you that story behind the numbers in action. The personal finance show that helps you achieve all your financial dreams. This show gets you everything that you need to know about your money, how to earn more, invest smartly and spend while getting the best bang for your buck. From the perfect home to early retirement and everything in between. Real estate, everyone knows, is an asset that Indians absolutely love. Maybe even more than gold. Join us every weekday at 5pm on the ET Money Show. Welcome back. You're watching Buy Now, Sell Now on ET Now. And let's get going with our queries. And this one is from Amy. And uh, Amy wants to know why bearing manufacturers are in buzz like uh, Schaeffler, SKF, Timken India. And also wants to know whether outperformance will continue. What's your take on this one, Shaheena? Any uh, uh, reason that you can see a spot for these bearing manufacturers seeing this sort of an up move? And do you think this outperformance will continue? Well, I think uh, there is uh, there is an outperformance in terms because the demand has actually picked up. Uh, but at the same time, I think raw material costs are likely to uh, you know catch up with these uh, uh, companies and raw material. Uh, 
you know the higher prices will impact uh, margins so i think there is going to be a phase of consolidation after this nice up move that we seen in most of these stocks uh, i think skf would be the preferred bet among the lot all right skf uh, is the stock to watch coming back to you shine on the next one uh, captain ram rao ranadeve from uh, pune is holding on to elicon uh, at levels elicon engineering which he's bought at levels of 20.3 the stock is currently at 246 he sold 70 units at levels of 195 but he's noticing that the dividend income of late has been good i'm not really sure because i see that the dividend yield is only about 0.4% what's the view on the stock should he hold for the long term yeah i believe that this stock is uh, looking uh, very good i think basically it is going to benefit with the opening up trade and uh, i would continue holding i would look at levels of 260 in the medium term uh, you can keep a stop loss of about 200 bucks this one is coming in from luke and he is saying that he is stuck with sbi cards which he purchased at a level of 880 rupees per share he wants to know what should he do with his holding currently kunal so i would suggest to stay put uh, now the stock in the last uh, you know 6 months have gone has gone through a sideways price correction prior to that the stock was into a downtrend now typically uh, in a first leg of a correction is always a downtrend and then the stock gets into a sideways price action before uh, post that we see a resumption of the uptrend into the stock price so i believe that sooner than later spi cards could get into a recovery phase i would suggest to hold at current levels okay coming back to you kunal on grassim joselin is asking about uh, Well, his question is, what about Grassim? So I'm guessing he's asking whether to buy at this point. What's the view? Well, I would suggest an avoid. In fact, uh, you know, uh, Alex, on Friday there was a huge amount of shorting uh, for the cement stocks. Uh, you know, 32 percent, 15 percent has been the average rise in the open interest on a single day for many of these cement names. And typically, when we see such kind of a high jump in the open interest uh, and and that too on a back of delivery based selling etc., that doesn't augur very well for stock prices. So. i would suggest a complete avoid at least over the way near term for these cement stocks including grassim all right this next one is coming in from sudan and he is asking what is happening with lic it is just going down what's your take on this one shahina lic a new entrant a debutant a big one on the bourses yes not uh, not enthused many but nevertheless a good long term bet not to get uh, kind of uh, panicked or uh, upset or uh, perplex with this current downtrend Yeah I would think so because I don't think there was ever ever an expectation that LIC would give you a good return on listing so it's basically something that you invest and keep for the long term so basically one an investor should continue to do that I think any investment in LIC has to be for the long term I don't see any uh, shorter term uh, up moves in a big way Uh in fact Sonu had the same uh, question Sunil from Pune and uh, he was asking about lic which he's got al uh, allotment in the ipo i guess the view shaina is saying is to hold on sorry she's got a, a question on a couple of stocks both uh, in a sense related uh, and this one's for you shaina he's asking about tata power and iex for the medium to long term should he buy these stocks uh i believe both of them look interesting at dips uh if you go if you talk about tata power uh, they have done extremely well their quarter numbers were extremely healthy and uh, i think that uh, in terms of uh, technicals while you are seeing some bit of uh, softness and some bit of consolidation uh, if one can look to enter at uh, any dips that you get and hold for the medium to longer term i think it's a good bet in the power sector and iex uh, you know of course as we all know that it is got the major uh, market share in terms of power, power trading electricity trading and electricity trading has a long way uh, you know from here in terms of uh, growth potential so there also i think uh, you know the stock has corrected after that big bonus issue that they had in march but uh, it is consolidating if you're looking at the longer term you can use dips to enter into the stock okay this one is from jay krishnan and uh, jay krishnan is writing to us uh, from uh, kerala and has godrej properties purchased at a level of 1780 rupees per share wants to know what should do with the stock sell hold average or shift to other sector altogether what's your take on this one kunal 1780 is the buy price definitely way or lower from that levels that's where godrej properties is trading at so yeah i think the stock has corrected uh, you know i think the recent high which was in 2021 was 2400 for godrej properties and the stock is now 
almost at 1300 levels, which, you, which means a correction of 50%. But then there's an interesting phenomenon on the charts, on the weekly time scale. The stock uh, has this tendency of getting into a correction mode and the correction halts closer to its uh, you know, 233 moving average, which is an expo Fibonacci number, uh, which we discussed last uh, you know, week as well. So it's a very interesting uh, observation, which has come uh, you know, quite true for Godrej properties over the last four to five years. So if you see a similar instance, the stock can correct till uh, you know, 1150, 1170 you know, uh, mark. That could be uh, you know, marking the end of a correction for Godrej properties. So at current levels, the risk reward is in your favor to hold on to long position. And if possible, if the stock corrects sub 1200 mark, look to add further. Kunal, a couple of ta Tata Group stocks. Uh, Akhil's asking. He's uh, got Tata Chemicals at an average cost of 927 and Tata Power at 225. Um, would you add more on dips or would you keep uh, both of these at these uh, levels? So I would uh, suggest to hold on as of now and even an add-on dips could be suggested but you have to mark up a percentage, uh, you know, drop into the stock price where you can look to start averaging. So for example, Tata Power has this major support at this 200 mark. So since you bought it at 225 levels, so rough about maybe a 10% could be a good level where you can look to average and same percentage you can probably keep it for a stock like Tata Chemical as well. Okay, this one is from Vivek and Vivek has 200 shares of Paris Defence purchased at 900 rupees per share. He wants to know whether he should average or stay out or switch to other defense stock altogether. He's saying he can hold on for a year or two in case if he's making good returns on uh, on the, uh, this counter or any other defense counter. What's your take on this one, Shahina? Do you think he should stay put with Paris, uh, Paris defense or should he look at other defense counters uh, where he may likely see good returns? Well, I think Paras Defense is going through a corrective phase and uh, he can actually look to enter into some other uh, defense stocks. I think that should give him better returns like MTech. I would prefer that over Paras Defense. Another question on uh, uh, the fertilizer and chemical space. RCF is the name of the counter and this one's for you, Kunal, for a change. Uh, the question is short term. Um, we've got uh, uh, Prashant who's bought at levels of 97 and he's asking whether to hold and what the short term target would be. Well, yes, I would suggest to hold on. In fact, uh, RCF, I believe, could probably head back towards that 105, 106 mark over the you know over the near to medium term. So possibly over the next one to two months, I would expect the stock to get into a decent rally mode. Even in the last two, three weeks, the stock has gone through a sideways price action. So it's trying to absorb a lot of the volatility. Fertilizer stocks have started to do pretty well, especially the likes of Coromandel, etc. So I believe RCF should also make a strong comeback. I would suggest a hold. All right, let me take this one from Sagar. Sagar has been trying to actually post his query for a while, but it's not been getting reflected. But luckily, I've got your query, Sagar, so let me take this one now. He's saying that he shorted Whirlpool from 1,700 levels. Do you see further breakdown in the stock in the near term? What's your take on this one, Kunal? Well, yeah, I think Whirlpool has been one of the stocks which has continued to you know, get into a downward trend. I remember, I think the stock had given a breakdown signal somewhere about 2,100. Uh, you know, that was a classic level to try and, uh, you know, initiate fresh shots. But even though, uh, you know, I think you've shorted at uh, say levels of 1,700 odd, I believe you can continue to hold on to your, uh, you know, your short strategy over, over, over the stock. Yeah, right, right, okay. Uh, we've got uh, a question coming in from uh, Kunal Thakkar and he's asking, Ah, oh, well, look, so Kunal, you're asking about mutual funds to invest in. This is a stock-specific uh, question um, that we're looking for. Uh, Mr. Murugan is looking at which stocks you would buy at the current level. So it's a broad-based question. Kunal, any uh, stocks that you'd like to recommend here? So I think, uh, you know, I've been bullish on the auto pack. So I think something like m, &M looks very attractive even at current levels. You can, uh, you know, look at, uh, you know, Reliance Industries as one of the top more, uh, you know, top large cap names, which has performed and been more resilient. Uh, into this market as well. From the mid-cap end of the market, I think something like Balrampur Chini looks very attractive to me on the charts. I think the stock is at 405, 410 levels. It's now coinciding to break above the 200 moving average as well. So these are a couple of uh, you know, short-term trading names which you can keep at. And one space which uh, over the last couple of days I've started to recommend is the insurance stock, insurance pack. So I think HDFC Life, ICC Pro, SBI Life, they also look very attractive from a momentum play. Okay, this is from KJ Singh and he wants a long-term view on InfoEdge. He's already holding uh, uh, the counter from 4,000 levels. He wants to know whether he can accumulate further on for the longer term. What's your take on this one, Shahina? Do you think InfoEdge is strong clear over the longer term and should uh, look to uh, accumulate some more at these levels? 
Well, I think if he wants to, it is it is a good long term player because it gives you like an SIP into some of the startup uh, space that we have, which I think is the way to go in the very long term. But I would prefer to buy it at uh, dips. I would look uh, something closer to about three thousand four hundred type of levels, uh, which then would give you a, a decent type of uh, return of about uh, uh, fifteen to twenty percent over the medium term. Hector Rosario is uh, asking whether Godrej. Uh, consumer, I believe, is a good uh, buy at the current level. Kunal, this one's for you. Well, I would suggest uh, you know, and avoid into the stock now. I understand that the stock has come back towards a very important support zone at 750 mark, but the stock lacks momentum. That's the biggest, uh, you know, I would say downside for the stock price as compared to many of these other relative FMCG names, the likes of Dabur, Colgate, even HUL for for that matter, Nestle, Britannia. These stocks have made a very strong comeback in the last one month. But the charts for Godrej has been more sideways. So when you look at the relative uh, performance, Godrej consumers has underperformed many of its peers. I would suggest an avoid. Okay, this one has come from Akhilesh, and he wants to know whether it's good time to enter Asian paints for the long term. What's your take on this one, Shaina? Oh well, that's a very difficult question uh, because uh, I'm. Uh, I think the whole space is going to do very well. But the only problem is that you have Grasm. You have got very big players that are uh, talking of investing big amounts into this space, and so the competition is going to hot up. Uh, if I want to buy Asian Paints, I would prefer buying it at dips. I think it's a good long-term story, but one should uh, you know get in somewhere close to about uh, maybe two thousand seven hundred. I think that would be a better level to buy. Parallels can be drawn between the cement and the paint sector. Then uh, we've got a question coming in from Ramdas Naik. HDFC Bank is the name of the counter. Um, he's bought at levels of 800, 800 I believe. Uh, let's pull up the chart and see where it's currently trading. He's wondering whether to uh, enter again because he sold Kunal. What's the view on HDFC Bank? So I think you, should, you can look to enter at current levels. Thirteen seventy eighty is where the current price is for HDFC Bank. Uh, looking at the recent charts. The the fact that the selling pressure has abated for HDFC Bank, which was seen quite consistent over the last one month, that's also a, a positive. As well as uh, when you look at the charts, it's forming an inverted head and shoulder pattern. So, and the stock is just about uh, you know coming closer to the support point of this inverted head and shoulder pattern. So, whenever the pattern gets completed, believe the breakout potential should be on the upside for HDFC Bank. I would suggest a buy or a hold at current levels. Okay, uh, K R Balan wants to know whether he should get out of HUL and Britannia, where he's not making much gains and. Switch to banking or IT for the short term, or cement names like Ultra Tech Cement. What's your take on this one, uh, Kunal? Do you think that it makes sense, the right strategy? Move out of HUL Britannia and look at other sectors altogether, or maybe Ultra Tech? So I think it's a, it's a bit of a difficult one because when I look at the cement uh, comparative comparison with cement, of course, uh, you know uh, FMCG stocks they can continue to do well as well as outperform. Uh, uh, you know, for for current situation of the market, it also makes a lot of sense to have a hedge kind of a strategy where you have some money parked into these defensive F FMCG names. Uh, but then on the other hand, even the banking as well as uh, you know the auto stocks are the two sectors where I am particularly very bullish upon. So it's a bit of a catch-22. You can look to shift maybe some holdings from your uh, FMCG and look to buy banking stocks as well as auto names. But cement is something which I would completely avoid. Okay. Uh, Shaina as well as Kunal, it's time to hit the rapid fire segment and uh, remember this is where we throw as many questions as possible at you in a span of two minutes so do keep your answers as short as possible. Uh, Shaina, buying ITC for a period of a year, Krishnan from Goa wants to know if this is a good idea. Yes, it's a good idea and uh, he should be buying it at current levels. Okay, so Kanya has 500 shares of Udaipur Cement, uh, bought at 39 rupees per share, wants to know whether should he should hold, sell or average for the long term. Uh, Shaina? Uh, Udaipur Cement, I, I don't track the stock. All right. Uh, I'm guessing the two of you probably don't track uh, Sri Ganesh Biotech either. Uh, is Bajaj Finance a good buy at the current level? Ra Ramdas Naik wants to know. Uh, Kunal. Well, I think yes, at current levels it's a good buy, but again, keep the powder dry for more averaging in case of the stock corrects further. All right, uh, this one is uh, coming in from Harish Kumar, wants to know whether he can take a fresh entry into Infosys. Is there any chances of dips, Kunal? I think it's a phenomenal buy at 1400, 1450 mark. So if the, if the stock dips into that kind of a zone, you should look to buy. Techno Electric, Kunal, on the charts, if you have a view, short term target is being sought by Puneet. Uh, don't track the stock that often, but I think the stock is priced at 280, 285. Looks to be attractive on the short term time scale. You can look out for 320 as a positional target. 
Okay, Ankur wants to know whether he can enter Adani Wilmer for the longer term. Uh, if not, uh, at least for a year. What's your take on this one, uh, Shahina? Yes, I believe he should enter into any dips. He should enter into Adani Wilmer. I think there's a good uh, upside potential of the one to two year period. Uh... <laughs> I would encourage uh, our viewers to not ask questions on penny stocks. Unfortunately, it becomes very hard to get views. Can Grassim be bought at the current level? I believe we already got a view, Kunal, but I'll ask you to reiterate. So I would suggest an avoid. Many of these stocks have started to show signs of big shorting. I would suggest an avoid in that uh, aspect. Okay, Venkateshwaran wants to know for dividend purposes, HPCL, BPCL or Power Finance, which one is, of these is better one to invest in? What's your take, Shahina? I will go in for power finance. I think that is the best bet among the three. Okay. All right. I think we're completely out of time, unfortunately. But I think we've covered quite a bit of ground today. Thank you so much, Shaina, as well as Kunal, for taking the time. And thank you, dear viewers, for tuning in as well. I hope that we've managed to answer most of your questions. Uh, but uh, for those of you who are still writing in, um, unfortunately, we're completely out of time today, but we'll be back tomorrow to take more questions. So request you to tune in then. We have to slip into a short break, but there's more on the other side, so do stay tuned. Investment made easy only on ET Now.